Hi everyone, I'm Lewis Roscoe. I'm the creator of the Oxville Homicides, which is the first attempt at a CG animated horror web series. So a bit about me. I've been doing independent film work since uh, high school. I pretty much skipped my seventh form year to make a feature film. And that in turn got noticed and nods from the likes of Richard Taylor, who's the double Oscar award winning person down in Weta Studios in Wellington. And since then I've just been doing independent film work and, uh, and then animation work. I have done a uh, web series before. I did the animated web series Frontier Prelude to Darkness, which I'm sporting a, uh, a hoodie of. Um, and that was my first attempt at animated, uh, animated work. Um, it had a modest following. I finished working on Frontier in 2012. It led to um, a bigger project, which was uh, related to the series. We made a pilot episode called Frontier The Rising Shadow with ex Weta animators on that project. We released that at the Armageddon Expo in Auckland in 2012 and that went really well. It was a great project to work on and I learnt a lot uh, from working on that project. Uh, it was slightly uh, slightly nerve-wracking releasing at something like Armageddon which um, was in front of a lot of people. Hey everyone! Oh. Um, this guy here is a 10-year veteran in the industry, ex -weta. I asked him to have a look at it and see what he thought. Um, but we had a good response to that. Um, as soon as I finished that, that's when Arksville Homicides began. I have been working for 11 months on the uh, prologue episode and a short teaser at the end of that. What I'm doing hasn't been done before to the scale I'm doing it. What I want to make is a web series that has a grand feel to it, doesn't cut back on the detail, is pleasant and uh, visually appealing to the eye, and at the same time carries with it a story that is compelling, intriguing, and has a lot of uh, second guessing about characters. If I'm not successful, may God save us all. So anyway, the story of Arksville is set in the late 60s. Um, it's a time of uh, a lot of civil unrest, and throwing that uh, throwing into the mix the whole supernatural demonic possession aspect um, I thought that would be very interesting just to mix it up with that the, the, the community already at that time. Now with it being in that time period you're gonna have your quaint little quirks like oh color TV and um, things like that. Um, a lot of the characters um, have a lot of gray areas they you, you don't know if they're fully good or if they're fully bad but the thing is, with the way the story goes, these characters are going to have to cast their lot on one side of the fence, whether they're good or bad, because demonic possession comes to Arksville. It comes to the small community, and these people are going to have to drop the facade that they've been living behind of a happy tourist town, and they're going to have to deal with this problem. And they're going to be battling a lot of their own inner demons as well as the uh, demons that are in their community. So it's going to be a very gripping tale and the characters are going to be so important in carrying that story to the audience. In order to do this at the scale that I want to do it at, um, it is going to involve crowdfunding. The money we're trying to raise is going to go towards better equipment, it's going to go towards um, paying actors, voice actors, paying artists for their work, and, um, and getting a more professional level look to the series. Um, and at the same time, it's going to go towards things like motion capture, uh, motion capture bodies, and also motion capture facials, facial expressions. And this, of course, makes the characters look a lot more realistic, a lot more human. Um, and in terms of um, selling, the, selling the characters to the audience, that's going to help a lot, and the audience is going to be able to connect a lot further with these characters having a more human look and human feel about them. Another thing funding goes towards is music. Music production for our composer Sven Falconer in Santa Monica. He's working with uh, James Newton Howard, who's done a great number of professional and amazing works on big films. Um, Sven um, has done music for us before, and he's very talented. Um, but of course, you know everyone's time's not free, and, and and there's a lot of hard work that goes in. So for paying for things like music composition, production, and also paying for the usage of uh, musical pieces from the time period, because that in turn will give the series its own identity in time. I think that is a very important thing for setting when exactly in time this story is set. Now I've tried to work into the crowdfunding campaign at Indiegogo, I've tried to work in some good perks, however if you can think of any perks that are that are better or that I haven't thought of, let me know and, and I'll see about adding, see if I can add them to it, see if they're cost effective or if it's going to bankrupt us then I guess I can't. But 
tell me what your thoughts are and I'll see what I can do. Um, now, ultimately what I want to do is to have a professional series is made outside of the studios at a grassroots level interaction with its audience. So you, the viewer, you can talk to the creators one-on-one -on -one or in a forum or whatnot um, and give your ideas, give your feedback, tell us what you like, tell us what you hate, because you guys are what would make this series work. So the animation process, uh, the beginning of it, um, is me writing a script for the episode. Now, I've got already the generalized story of the Arksville homicides, but writing the specific dialogue and the script is the first step. So that'll take me about three to five days to do. After that, um, it is the uh, it is the animation process, or the modeling process, I should say. Now, I don't do storyboards because it's just me, and uh, it's all up here, so I don't need to storyboard, which is great, because I suck at drawing. Now, the, um, the modeling process um, is the next step, and modeling characters, modeling cars, modeling whatever is necessary, whatever assets are necessary for the particular episode. Um, and that can take anywhere from a few days to a week to two weeks, depending on the complexity of the model. Um, after that comes the rigging. Now this is the part I totally suck at. So if you're a rigger or you know a rigger, throw them my way and we'll talk because I need all the help I can get with rigging. And rigging of course is just the bones of the character, um, you know, so showing how the model will move arms and legs and such. Um, after rigging comes the animation and the animation can take a day per shot to maybe maybe a couple of weeks. The animation is not so, does not take so long to do. Um, the big part is the, is the rendering. And this is the, this has been what has been the bane of the production of the prologue episode. Rendering has taken months and months to do because I've wanted to do it at, at a high level of quality, of visual quality. And, and so another thing funding would go toward is, is faster machines to get the rendering done a lot quicker. Now, um, a lot of assets, a lot of models and assets I've already put together um, for the big series, such as the town of Arksville itself. Now, this model uh, I add to every day, bits and pieces, little houses, bushes, trees, buildings, cars even. Um, and it's sort, of, it's sort of growing and um, it's sort of like an extreme version of SimCity, I suppose. The town model that's in layers, so I can turn off certain layers so that it's not eating through the CPU and slowing the whole system down just to look at it. So um, I hope you'll get behind us. Um, if you like horror and you want to see something get made outside of the studios um, on a grassroots level, then get behind us on Indiegogo, um, get behind our funding campaign, and, um, and even if you can't donate, share it with your friends. Tell your friends about it. They may know someone who wants to donate to us. Um, but anyway, we will see you in the near future and thank you for your time watching.